she's tagged up and we'll get back to the camp. We'll get her clean. beautiful back straps from the doe I just killed. I'm going to show y'all one of the easiest ways to season and cook back strap. You know, we all like it wrapped in bacon with the jalapenos, uh, cream cheese, but it's a lot of work. This is real simple and I find it's one of the best ways to do it. I right, just need a sharp knife. And a back strap this size, I'll cut it in three pieces. You know, three different chunks. So all you do, this will be one piece probably. They're all gonna be about five or six inches long. Go down to the skin and you just filet it off the skin. There's one. This is about half right here. There you go. You don't want this silver skin. So we have three beautiful pieces, tender. Black pepper and salt, that's it. I use a little Italian dressing in the bag. Uh, and I usually vacuum seal, that way the vacuum seal is gonna really squeeze the seasoning and the um, marinade in the back strap. But I'm, I'll put a good coating of salt, quite a bit of salt all around the back strap. All right, once you get the salt, then I come with a good coating of black pepper. And it looks like a lot of pepper, and it, it is, but it gives it that red, you taste the meat. If you just put black pepper and salt and not get crazy with all the other seasonings, I think the flavor of the meat comes out really good. It's like a great steak when you try this. If you can let it sit overnight in the ice box, you know, one or two days, it'll just get better. Um, I'm sure it'll be good right now on the pit, but we'll give it a little time. I'm gonna vacuum seal them. Okay. I'm gonna shake up, I got some, just a regular wishbone Italian dressing. Shake it up real good. And that's another reason you want to put a lot of black pepper and salt. I mean, some of this is going to get rinsed off. It won't be quite that coated. I'll just put all of them in this bowl. There 
and we'll just squeeze them on, move them around. I'll vacuum seal them just like this, and I'll freeze them, ready to go. So they're marinating before, you know, before they freeze and while they're thawing out. That marinade is just getting in the meat more. So I'll typically pull them out, put them in a sink of cold water. They'll defrost 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to buy more backstrap 2020. I usually fold the top like this. And I'll put one per bag. And what this does is just keep the lid dry to where it seals better. Turn this on. There you have it. Six pieces of backstrap, and then we have the two tenderloins in that bag. I'll put some on the grill tomorrow. All right, here we go. We're gonna put it on the grill. We got the grill nice and hot. Uh, we'll go four minutes probably on both sides. And that's it. Uh, we'll try to keep it medium rare. It's definitely my favorite way to cook backstrap. And if you guys try it, I think y'all like it too. Like I said, we'll give it approximately four minutes. And we'll check it, we'll flip it over. Okay, I actually gave it five minutes on that first side. Let's see how it looks. So I'm thinking five minutes on this side and it'll be ready. All right, I think we have Five minutes on that side too. We're gonna go ahead and cut it and just see. It may need a little bit more time. Oh, that looks perfect right there. That's how I like mine. 